The girl was watching a Christmas video. Suddenly a red hand flashes by. She took a closer look. It was Santa's hand. She called her brother, Teddy. Teddy was shocked when he saw it. Kay said that since Santa Claus came last year, he'd be here again tonight. She wanted to catch Santa in one fell swoop. But Teddy wasn't interested in Kate's plan. He didn't want to do anything childish. Kate had to offer her a mysterious videotape in exchange. Teddy had no choice but to agree. Kate stretched fishing line across the living room and sprinkled flour on the door. Teddy unlocked the door and set up the camera. The two of them ate and waited. I don't know how long it took. The trap was spread. Kate got up to check it out. She found a dark figure in the living room. The siblings chased after it. They were stunned by what they saw. A huge sleigh was parked on the side of the road. Curious, Kate climbed on the sled. Teddy followed, fearing for his sister's safety. They hid in the back of the sleigh. Santa Claus had finished delivering presents around the block, but he didn't realize the siblings were there. He flew his sleigh 10,000 meters into the sky. The sleigh traveled through the clouds. Kate was so cold. She tried to ask Santa to slow down. She didn't realize that Santa was almost scared to death of her. The reindeer went out of control. Kate was thrown out of the sleigh. In the nick of time, Santa saved Kate with his sleigh. But before he could stabilize his sleigh, a plane came flying at him. Luckily, Santa reacted quickly and dodged it. But by now, the reindeer were terrified. They were running mildly through the air. The sleigh's connecting rods were shaking. And the car's instruments are malfunctioning. A wormhole was accidentally opened. They traveled across the globe. Santa's hats and gift bags were thrown out. And the connecting rods finally gave way. The reindeer scattered. And the sleigh began to plummet. Santa didn't panic. He pulled the handbrake and started the gliding mode. The sleigh began to descend towards the ground. But because of the speed, they crashed into a wing on the way down. Luckily, the snow saved their lives. Santa wasn't angry, but he lost his gift bag. If the children don't get their Christmas presents by sunrise, the whole world would be affected. Teddy scoffed at the idea of Santa Claus. It's just that the kids didn't get their presents. What's the big deal? But Santa told Teddy very seriously that the last two incidents of lost gift bags were in 1914 and 1939. Santa Claus was ready to take off in style. He didn't expect to fall on his ass in the next second. He felt his hat. Then he realized he had lost his hat. Without his hat, Santa lost his magic. He had to walk to find his missing reindeer and gift bag. The siblings realized they made a big mistake. They rushed to follow Santa to try to make amends. The most important task at hand is to find a ride. As soon as they entered the restaurant, Santa identified himself to the guests. He knows all of them by name, and he knows all of their Christmas wishes from childhood to adulthood. Now Santa needs everyone's help, but it turns out no one wants to talk to him. People didn't even believe he was Santa Claus. The owner even thought they were liars. But Santa recognized the boss right away, and pointed out that the boss had just stolen a red dodge. The owner was furious and threw them out. The evicted trio was at a loss. Santa looked at his watch. The watch showed that the Christmas index was at 35%. If the presents weren't delivered, it would be a disaster. As oh, Teddy snuck away with the keys to the dodge that his boss had stolen. The trio searched the streets for the reindeer, but a police car on patrol spotted them. They had no choice but to split up. Kate was in charge of finding the reindeer. Teddy was in charge of finding the gift bags. Santa stayed behind to deal with the police. The officers asked Santa to prove his identity by making a ha 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 laugh. But Santa refused to do so. So he was taken to the police station. At the police station, Santa still wanted the officers to release him. He kept pulling toys out of his coat. All the toys that the officers wished he had as a child. But the officers mistook him for a toy store robber. Realizing that the officers wouldn't believe him. Santa had to tell the officers what he wanted for Christmas this year. He wanted to get back together with his ex-wife. The officers was very surprised. But he still refused to believe in Santa Claus. Santa advised him to call his ex-wife. Because she misses him too. But the officers didn't believe him. No matter how much Santa Claus tried to explain, the officers put him in a holding cell. Santa Claus was arrested and taken to the police station, seeing that the Christmas numbers have already dropped to only 10%. Once the value is reset to zero, it will trigger a major disaster. Santa Claus can't wait any longer. He asked people about their past Christmas wishes and made those wishes come true. The police station concert will start soon. The police officers outside are already stunned. He doesn't understand where these people got their instruments and lights from. And Santa Claus still encourages him to call his ex-wife. Just as finished speaking, ex-wife called him. Officer Lyon finally believed in his identity as Santa Claus. At this moment, the little elf appeared from the ventilation duct. Bring a spare Christmas hat to Santa Claus. With a whoosh, Santa Claus left. He needs to quickly deliver the gift. 
However, there is only an hour left until dawn at this moment. He alone cannot give away so many gifts. The siblings took the initiative to speak up. They want to help Santa Claus complete gift delivery. So the three of them divided their work again. Kay is responsible for verifying the list. Teddy is responsible for driving the sled. And Santa Claus is responsible for drilling the chimney to deliver gifts. Instant, Santa Claus turns into a red light. He travels like a lightning bolt through every roof. They quickly delivered all the Christmas gifts. The journey to save Christmas has been successfully completed. After leaving gifts for them, Santa Claus has left. The siblings have also reconciled as before. After finishing work and returning home, mother saw a beautiful Christmas tree. That's as grand as when her husband was alive. A family gathered together to open gifts. Teddy's Christmas wish is to see his dad again. Santa Claus is unable to fulfill his wishes. But, he left Teddy a Christmas decoration ball. After handing the decorative ball, Teddy saw his father in his reflection.